today we are discussing classroom language before we start to learn about classroom language of a teacher we must know who we are a guide a mentor or a role model no doubt a teacher should should have an amalgam of these qualities before start the class let us hear our former president of india apj abdul kalam the iron man of india india's speech what is the one action which will make you great every one of you has a page in the history of the world what is that page how do you make that page which is going to be referred by the prosperity there is a need to give your vision to your ambition what i will be remembered for what i will be each one of us to ask the question what i will be remembered for if you find an answer uh, for this question a few lines that that of that of out of box idea will drive you for the rest of your life you will definitely thinking something different on our out of box mission what are they i learned every youth wants to be unique every youth wants to be unique but the world around around you is doing it best day and night to make you just everybody else whether you want to be you or everybody else everybody else is convenient at the first glance but not satisfying in the long vision the challenge therefore my young friends is that you have to fight the hardest battle which any human being can ever imagine to fight and never stop fighting until you arrive at your destined place that is the unique you to get the unique you is a big battle the battle means you don't need to take a gun the battle means you have to have four unique things four unique tools you must have in that battle one is you have to set the goal the second one is acquire the knowledge continuously and third one is a hard work with the devotion and fourth is perseverance where there is righteousness in the heart where there is righteousness in the heart there is beauty in the character when there is beauty in the character there is harmony in the home when there is harmony in the home there is harmony when there is an order in the nation when there is order in the nation there is peace in the world teachers are devoted professionals who have a lasting impact on students becoming a teacher will allow you to leverage your strength and passion as a leader in the education field if you are looking to make a positive difference in the lives of young people you may want to consider the rewarding pro this rewarding profession each day you will exercise your creativity patience and communication skills as you present engaging in engaging in lessons as a mentor and a role model students will be inspired by your com commitment to helping them to develop their unique talents and intellect teachers are responsible for maintaining a positive learning environment in the classroom for the students managing a classroom is not an easy task a classroom that is out of control yields lower achievement for students and high burn out rates for teachers teachers must implement structure develop positive student interaction and take immediate action when problems arise Maintaining control from the beginning provides a foundation for effective classroom management. Teachers should create a culture of caring. Effective manage classroom management is not rooted in a culture of caring. Teachers set the tone for the classroom. If the classroom climate encourages participation for the students and risk taking. students are more likely to become involved in the learning process teachers 
should use a nurturing approach and interest in each student on an individual basis. Group projects can serve as a vehicle to build collaborative environment that invites a team centric learning environment. When students sense a teacher is committed to their success, they are more likely to conform to classroom guidelines and specific behavioral goals. Okay, let, let us see how a teacher should be. A teacher should establish, should have should have an established rules for the classroom. Teachers should begin the year with clear expectations of classroom behavior. If students are aware of what is and what is not acceptable, they are more likely to be positive contributors in the classroom. Teaching and understanding of social skills and how to face adversity needs to be the part of regular classroom curriculum. Outlining consequences for unacceptable behavior will help students to develop critical thinking skills and become better decision makers. Teachers need to align behavior expectation with the school and district policies and make this information clear to parents. Next one is maintain accountability. Providing accountability strategies is critical to the classroom management. Teachers should have a system for evaluating behavior. Monitoring behavior on regular basis will aid in the long term success. Students need to be made aware that the evaluation process will be based upon their interactions with others in and out of the classroom. Verbal and non-verbal behavior should be included in the assessment. Teachers should share feedback about behavior with individual, individual students and parents in a parent teacher conference. If parents are aware of issues as they arise, they can reinforce expectations and consequences at home. Then managing problems. Teachers should determine the cause of troubling behavior before accepting, attempting to correct it. Reflecting upon the factors influencing a problem will provide a framework for intervention. For example, if a child is regularly misbehaving when he or she is sitting next to a specific friend, rearranging seating may be the answer. When possible, teachers should help students learn how to control and modify their behavior before, before it escalates into a larger issue. Teachers need to work together to reinforce intervention strategies. This will underscore behavioral expectations and maximize success. Now let us hear some of the famous quotes by APJ Abdul Kalam. First and foremost, I will love teaching. Teaching will be my soul. First and foremost, I will love teaching. Teaching will be my soul. I realize that I am responsible for shaping not just students but igniting youth who are the most powerful resource under the earth, on the earth and above the earth. I will be fully committed for the great mission of teaching. As a teacher, it will give me great happiness if I can transform an average student of the class to perform exceedingly well. As a teacher, it will give me great happiness if I can transform an average student of the class to perform exceedingly well. All my actions with my students will be with kindness and affection like a mother, sister, father or brother. All my actions with my students will be with kindness and affection like a mother, sister, father or brother. I will organize and conduct my life 
in such a way that my life itself is a message for my students i will organize and conduct my life in such a way that my life will be a message for my students i will encourage my students and children to ask questions and to develop the spirit of inquiry so that they can blossom into creative and enlightened citizens I will treat all my students equally and will not support any differentiation on the account of religion, community or language. I will treat all my students equally and will not support any differentiation on the account of religion, community or language. I will continuously build the capabilities in teaching so that I can impart quality education to my students. I will continuously build the capabilities in teaching so that I can impart quality education to my students. I will celebrate the success of my students. I will celebrate the success of my students. I realize by being a teacher I am making an important contribution to all the national development initiatives I realize by being a teacher I am making an important contribution to all the national development initiatives I will constantly endeavor to fill my mind with great thoughts and spread the nobility in thinking and action among my students. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please leave your valuable comments and likes. Thank you. A teacher has different roles to play in a classroom. Here are five roles that a teacher often has to fill in order to be the best educator. First one is the resource. A teacher, sh sh teacher should be a resource person to her students. One of the top role of a teacher must fill that a resource app specialist. There will be many people who will come to the teacher seeking information. Even if the person is only seeking a source of information the teacher is the one who must know how to find what the student is looking for once the teacher has given the information to the student or co-worker he or she will often have to instruct the student on how to use the information next one is a teacher should be act as a uh, support to their students Students are the ones who need support when learning a new skill or piece of information. A teacher must act as the supporter, support person when the student needs this help. Support can come in many forms such as a coach, leader, even a counselor. In professional circles, a teacher may even have to support other teachers leading a particular subject matter. Then the, uh, next one is a teacher should act as a mentor for his students. One of the biggest role of teacher may have is that a mentor. Students look up to teachers and may pattern their own behavior and work ethic to match the instructor. An older teacher can even be a mentor to a younger teacher who is just starting out in the profession. 
then teacher should be act as a helping hand a leader in a school is a person who takes on extra tasks such as leading the pta meetings and even helping for a big event teachers who are active in the school will often have more jobs than just the one they were hired to perform often the goals of the teacher will match the direction that the direction that the school is taking then another uh, another important factor is uh, learner one last important role of a teacher must fill is that of a learner anyone who has been involved in a profession long enough knows that there is always something new to learn a learner is a person who is always growing in life and will never claim that they know it all a teacher will be challenged every day with a new task that will help them grow into a better person a teacher is a person who will have to fill many roles they are people with educational leadership skills and they must continue to grow and develop as professionals anyone seeking to be a teacher should take advantage of any chance they get to grow as a person and as a teacher just watch a show about how to be an effective teacher all of you are dreaming to become an excellent teacher so how can we become an excellent teacher i am imagining main ye kalpana kar raha hu that you are all student right now i am a teacher but if you learn how to handle today you can do excellent job in your teaching career because out of all profession teaching is an excellent profession i can see a frustrated face and if you say good morning ma'am what is so good in this morning <laughs> with lot of energy the student comes and says good morning ma'am and so what is so good in this morning in india we are not very expressive we are not so expressive we are asked to stand like this hello and the whole world is doing a research that if you are using your body language you can do an excellent job in teaching skill so today we are talking about not about content we are talking about how to teach it must look like yes we are wishing really good morning people don't smile in our country people don't express with body language body language is 85% language is 15% let me show you all of you please do like this one finger okay bring it here bring it here don't touch when i say are you all ready say yes loudly are you all ready now quickly touch your chin which part of your body you are touching what did i ask you to touch where is chin you are touching your cheek body language is so important so when you come in the class your students first wants to see your expression your your body language your dress up your outfit your eye contact your smile and you come like a humpty dumpty people don't know how to shake hand let me show you <laughs> so this is not the way when you are shaking hand this grip you know this grip it has to go like this and now you can feel my hand is it better yeah no, like this so there are two types of teacher teacher number 1 they come for duty so they come bra 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 gone teacher number 2 they come to give something great desire to give something great passion teaching profession is beyond name and fame one word of teacher can make the life of a student one small appreciation can change whole life if you want to become an excellent teacher don't focus on cramming technique or ratta technique please explain the concept if you are not clearing the concept in the class the child will remain humbug throughout his life use your full potential you have to upgrade your knowledge for today's need so you need to see what is today's demand what is going on how to talk how to express a progressive teacher is one who also grows with children don't give a ready made answer many times in your class situation can come where you do not have an answer tell all your student 
can we together work for this question so that we must come with preparation tomorrow so we all have 10 answers rather than having one answer if i am a good teacher if i respect my student if i allow him to speak he respects me automatically in creativity you find two words create plus activity how many teachers are there in this world they create activity many of them repeat activity yes, sir. they just come repeat go come repeat go come okay at the end of the day if you're a good student you pass if you're a bad student you fail keep growing add new dimension in your personality take best training if you want to be a good teacher take best training invest money even if you have to take some loan don't worry but that will add a new faculty in your personality you can't learn swimming by reading you can't learn driving by reading you got to do it practically agree yes, yes, sir. take decision to become an effective teacher whatever destiny you want to achieve i have chosen teaching career and i want to be a top class teacher and i know what is to be done for that so change your life from today change your habits from today change your etiquettes from today change your lifestyle from today wake up in the morning with new energy and just tell the world here comes the world's best teacher so teacher is a live uh, energy they put energy in all students the moment she comes so go with great joy and happiness leave all your problem at home and tell your relatives please don't prick in my head every day i am going to create a future of this country and you have an important role to play with this i wish you all the best so thank you very much we can conclude that the general classroom language of a teacher refers to a, the language a teacher uses for praising students saying a student is wrong encouraging them beginning and concluding part of the lesson etc effective teacher language takes awareness and practice teachers goal is to use language encourage language to encourage and empower the children we encourage children when we notice and acknowledge their attempts to meet expectations we empower the children when we express faith in their ability to follow through recover controls and make constructive choices